Do you, do you take the position, Ms. Thompson, that uh, public education cannot be cut at all from the level of current funding? I take the position that public education is crucial when you start thinking about readiness, pre-K, early start, kindergarten, and being able to have a child capable of reading at age third grade. In addition there too, to be able to assist those students who are behind academically because a lot of them are late bloomers, not necessarily dumb children or kids who may not have learned, but a little late bloomers and psychologically they have not matured to a level that they can be able to grasp the educational data that was presented to them. <coughs> now the question comes, do you want to pay for it on the front end where it's cheap for society to do that or would you like to pay it on the back end in the prisons where we started getting GEDs at $16,000 at a time pop. I think that we would benefit paying it for it on the front end because we'll be able to educate those persons either academically at a college level, a junior college level, or a trade and help them become a contributing tax-paying citizen to our society or we can take the position that we ought to pay for it on the back end and then we'll continue our long line of liability for the rest of our lives. Well, the, pr the principle sounds like something that can't be challenged, but the reality is we are in a big budget hole and there's a proposed cut, as you know, the initial proposed cut to public education in the House was more than $9 billion. And uh, I want to ask you again, do you think that nothing can be cut? I mean, the principle notwithstanding, the reality is something's going to have to be cut. Are you on the, do you take the position that nothing can be cut? I'm not a bad position because there are some schools of thought that maybe the school districts have some reserves that they can use that they have been holding on to. Right. Uh, and, and if that is in fact true, then there are some areas that can be cut. Right. But if that's not true, then I do take the position that this is an area that should not be cut. So only if the schools have reserves they're willing to dip into and therefore reduce the state share of public ed spending, are you okay with cutting public education? I'm okay with cutting some areas of it. Right. But let me just tell you, we promise a lot to public education when we cut that $7 billion and promise to give them back the money uh, for property taxes uh, reduction. Uh, when we cut uh, retirement uh, contributions for teachers, we have cut a lot into public education. It is time that we do something substantial for public education.